question. I do apologise. Jane Hart. Thank you very much, Madam Deputy Speaker, and I thank my honourable friend for this announcement today. Please could she confirm how local authorities will be supported in accommodating citizens, uh, Afghan citizens, and how the education system will be supported to help facilitate the smooth transition of Afghan people into local communities throughout the UK. Very much, um, and thank you to my honourable friend. Um, we have announced today uh, £20,520 uh, per person over the next three years. This is because we want to enable local councils to, if you like, front load their support, their integration support. Uh, we have, in addition, some £4,000, up to £4,000 per child for education and uh, associated. Um, tariffs for medical care, but we want to ensure that people are put into their, they're, they're moving into their permanent accommodation as quickly as possible. And this is where the call um, for volunteers from our local authorities uh, it must be made strongly. We need, please, permanent housing in order to settle people as quickly as possible. Dame Diana Johnson. Madam Deputy Speaker, Hull is a city of sanctuary and has always stepped up to its responsibilities around asylum seekers.